Hey everybody, and welcome back here. The Binding of Isaac, Northern Lion, Rebirth. Probably a uh, random run here, if I had to guess. So let's look at our items. We actually did pick up a few items on the stream. On uh, If you want to go back and watch that run, then it'll be Wednesday, November 26th, uh, part one of two. This is like the worst way to open a video. Hey guys, I'm uh, freaking Melvin. Here's uh, my algorithm that I've come up with for you know cooking rice the proper way. But hey, there's there's some items that I did pick up there in case you 100% want to be a completionist and see absolutely everything that I see and unlock. We're gonna grind out uh, apparently some Lazarus play here. Last time I played as Lazarus, I think we had a really good run, so I'm not gonna be too salty about that. By the way. 08X2M XVM0. There we go. If your name is Melvin, I apologize, but really, you should be seeking that apology from your parents instead. Instead, you know, a smarter man than myself once asked, "What's in a name?" And the answer is, for most names, not that much. But I think if your parents did name you something like Melvin, and there's, you know, if there's some kind of historical uh, relevance for it, you know. Like if you you have a you're a, a Prussian aristocrat, and your great grandfather was like you know, Earl, Earl be not being his name but his title you know let's use Count then in that case he was like Count you know Melvin von Ulrich the third or something like that and he helped free you from you know Napoleon or something like that then by all means cool I'm an asshole for being short sighted but. Really, there are some parents who I think, like, that's like the ultimate test of whether or not you're ready to have a kid, right? Like, if to be a, a parent, you have to not be selfish to be a, a good parent, I feel, at least. That's like one of the key virtues of being a good parent, is being selfless so that your kids uh, actually get all the value in life, because your time of actually being able to complain is over. Like, as a, as a parent, you can complain, but it kind of falls on deaf ears, because you had, like, you know, 20-whatever years, or, you know... 18 whatever years to uh, to complain now you've got like a six-year-old kid how are you gonna complain about anything when you got a six-year-old kid anyway you can complain to other parents they'll, they'll listen to you but if you name your kids something stupid because it makes you laugh then you're not ready to be a parent because that's a, like the most selfish decision of your entire life if you name if your last name is Jasshole and you name your kid Hugh well then you are what your kid is named you are a huge asshole seriously though just name your kid, like, I, I get it, you know, sometimes there are some people out there who admire, uh, and, and I shouldn't say respect, but people out there who enjoy having unique names, and that's fine. Just wanted to make sure I made, got that bad gas appropriately, it was a tactical fart, wanted to make sure it went off at the right time. But, um, unless you've thought it out greatly, and I do mean greatly, and verified it with maybe some other people, if that's the kind of thing you're concerned about, you can do your kid a great service by just giving them a name. I'm not saying choose something that doesn't have any significance for you. I'm just saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with naming your kid Jennifer. Nothing wrong with Maybe that's like a little dated now. You know, you don't want to end up with like a Mildred situation. Uh, let's see what these pills are. Fantastic. Um, all right. Thank God for that health up at least. And another 48 hour energy. I am gonna make so many poops here, get ready. Fantastic, very excited about this 48 hour energy. If there's one item I can think that works really well with 48 hour energy, it's definitely poop when we don't have the petrified poop trinket. You know, I have a fairly normal name, Ryan. It's one of the most normal names, uh, well, you know, I don't wanna say normal in case that makes some people feel weird about it, but you know, it's one of the most common names out there, especially given the, uh, you know, the time period in which I was born, and it has literally never been a factor in my life at all. Nobody has ever said, hey, you know, Ryan's pretty cool, but I respect him less because his name is not unique. So just, you know, just, I'm not a parent myself, but just something to consider before you name your kid like Cal fucking L or something like that because you like Superman. Your kid's gonna have to live with this name for the rest of their life. Your kid is not, like, getting a tattoo. You don't have to name it something that's personally significant to you. So every time you look at your kid, you're like, Oh yeah, I was like, I'm glad I named my son Watchman, because I was really into fucking Rorschach back then. Anyway, you get the idea. That's just my two cents, and feel free to tell me I'm an asshole, and you can do whatever you want with your kids. Uh, not whatever you want, obviously, but you can name your kids whatever you want, and, uh... I'm not gonna be too ornery about it, but still think of what they're gonna have to go through as well. 
I think that's a good a good test. <laughs> I, I I just can't. I can't. Uh, bring myself to pick up that battery. Also, did I just not pick up those red hearts from Hematemesis on the last floor? Also, do I completely pronounce Hematemesis wrong every time? Fucking Ed, man, keeps putting these names in the game that are so hard to pronounce. I've learned so much about pronunciation of, like, Old Testament names and weird medical conditions. Um... From uh, from the Binding of Isaac, and I I appreciate that because as someone who's out of school, that's pretty much the largest source of my knowledge now is video games, which is um, for the most part probably not that encouraging for me. So we have uh, we have a key, thankfully. This Lazarus run's not shaping up fantastically thus far, but there's a reason I haven't talked about you know where we're at in the run right now. It's because it doesn't really matter. We got poop in our first item room for free. We didn't even have to spend a key for it. Um, poop's a terrible item. It's really bad. People still continue to this day to try to tell me that I'm an idiot and poop is actually good. Poop is a bad item. It, it's one of the worst. If you had petrified poop in that... It's not even that rare of a situation, I'll admit. But if you were in that situation where you have petrified poop as your trinket, then sure. I can understand it. Uh, you, you can actually get some value out of it. But apart from that, I would rather have almost any other space bar in the item in the game. I would rather have Shoop the Whoop, which I hate. I would rather have the Hourglass. I would rather have fucking Monster Man Well. Oh, well, there's uh, there's Red Heart damage. And actually, this is looking a little dangerous right now. Darkwing Duck style, motherfucker. I really, really do not want to be fighting the haunts here. Now, Juicy Sack is a great item. Gives you a little bit of slowing creep. Uh, that's not very... Well, now we can teleport once per room. I don't really want to do that, though. No, no haunts. No, okay, it's the haunts. Juicy Sack's good, gives us a little bit of creep, and it also spawns some spiders. I can't remember how it spawns spiders. Like, if we just start each room with some, or if they drop... Oh, fuck. If they drop kind of, like, not randomly, but, you know, regularly, periodically, over the course of the, uh... Over the course of the fight? Oh, my God! Yep, I'm dead. But I'm gonna be coming back. So there goes all of our HP. So I'm displeased with this, uh, as you might expect. Most important thing, people have told me just dodge his shots. That was very close. Just stand like here and dodge left and right to try to keep yourself in sync with him. And then you'll never get hit, was the advice I heard. The, the, the second piece of advice that I heard is, for God's sake, Never do what you do every single fight, and, uh... This actually does work nicely. Never do what you do every single fight and try to stand right next to him because it's just gonna be, you know, heinous for you. But if you do have, uh... If you do have some bombs, it certainly speeds this up a little bit. Just, I'm, I'm playing it cool right now. I'm also, I'm not doing so much of the dodge left and right thing just because I want to maximize the time that I spend being safe. Which has worked out fairly well so far. Man, if I just had one bomb, this would be so much better. And we should not get a deal with the devil here. Let's be honest with one another. We, don't, we didn't earn one. We did get a damage upgrade. This is a terrible start for a run. Um, and it, it's my own fault. If I had picked up the hematemesis pills, we'd be fine. I'm not even worried about that battery. I'm definitely not going to the curse room, so we're headed down to the next floor. But uh, part of the fun of Isaac is uh, surmounting your own mistakes, you know? I've made some mistakes. Let's try to, you know, recover from those mistakes. All we really need is a deal with the Devil Nine Lives, and then we're pretty much where we would expect to be regardless. Now, that might seem like a, a tall order, but deal with the Devil Nine Lives is a fairly common... Uh, we should go back for that, obviously. Deal with the Devil Nine Lives is a fairly common get, if I do say so myself. We get Notched Axe, which is better than poop. But still pretty terrible. But... Yes, better than poop. So we'll be looking out for tinted rocks or just, you know, rooms like this where maybe we want to create a bridge for free. This is a little dangerous. Uh, we also just found our secret room. By the way, people told me that it's not Stompy that allows you to find secret rooms if you walk into them. It's actually Notched Axe. So we should try that. Every room that we are using Notched Axe, we should at least try to, like... You know what? I will play you three times just to see what we can get here. Thank you. Uh, not so much with the thank yous there. And... The devil. I mean, it's a good card. I don't mind. Uh, but every room where we use notched axe, we will try to walk around to the sides and see if we can get it anyway. But it may have also just been a... Uh, like, I might have walked into a bomb rock that exploded to find a secret room. So who knows? Might be worth it. We'll see. 
I'm actually pretty content with my damage right now. For now. Uh, you know, it, it's not going to carry us into the late game without any help, but it's it's a start here. Uh, the question, of course, is... Ooh, nice. When do I want to uh, use Notched Axe if I don't find any Tinted Rocks? Like, is it worth using on a room like this, maybe? Just to see if there's a black market? Or a secret room? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see who we're going up against here. It's Dark One. You know what? I haven't had that much of a hard time against Dark One lately. I think one of the, like, intermediate level tricks, and I do mean intermediate because it's not advanced, uh, is when Dark Bomb starts doing his charge attacks, go below him. You know, I'm going to use the Devil card here just to... We, we can't afford to mess around too much here. Just to force him to not uh, get too close to the top of the screen. Because you want to be on the top of the screen. It's like fighting uh, the bloat. You want to make sure that you have space at the top of the screen so that you don't have to go to the bottom of the screen because the bottom of the screen is like where you're most vulnerable. Side of the screen also seems to be working out fairly well. As long as you are, um, you know, well-versed at fighting Blue Famine. You can figure it out. Caffeine pill is definitely not what I was looking for, but maybe HP upgrade? No. Uh, two Spirit Heart deal for Brimstone. Let's see what's in this red chest. Okay, I'm going to take it. It won't kill us. I was 80% confident of that. <laughs> Thank God. You know, I, I can be a little salty that this is amnesia, but mostly I'm just like, thank fucking Christ that it was not bad trip, which it totally could have been. All right, we're going to leave this floor, and I'm relatively content with where we're at, but, I mean, obviously we're missing a couple of key items that are gonna we're going to need to carry us here. Um, Curse of the Lost, Amnesia carries over, I suppose. Now, we have had, like, Brimstone is amazing in and of itself. Oh, that's bad damage. That is real not good. Um, but we've also had a damage upgrade. And a damage upgrade, uh, plus Brimstone, puts us way ahead of the curve for this point in the game. We have some other problems, though, I'm not sure if you've noticed. If I get hit literally one more time, I will die. Which does not make me feel very good about my performance on this run. I'll just be straight with you on that one. Please don't jump again. Please don't jump again. Thank you. Drop a spirit heart. Save my life. Okay. Well, we're going to have to fight for this one for sure. I saw my life flash before my eyes there. Uh, thank you, spiders, for doing what I could not, apparently. More keys. We really need, like, an item room or a shop ASAP. Because if we don't get a spirit heart, we will die. Like, it might look okay right now, but we're running on borrowed time. Oh, Judas the Shadow will bring us back when we die. This is a, a staggering stroke of good luck. Actually, Monkey's Paw is well worth the other bomb that I'll have to use to get it out of here. I believe when we go down to a half heart interval... Like, it's like scapular, but for black hearts. It'll give us a black heart when we get down to a half heart interval. Like, our final half heart interval. Now, we are at our final half, half heart interval right now. As you can tell, it doesn't work. Uh, it, or it just drops a black heart when we get into that situation. Okay, so we've died twice already. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about, but we are Judas's Shadow now. One of the rare situations where dying uh, has actually helped us out maybe a little bit. And let's see what we got going on here. I believe you also come back with uh, some extra damage bonus. Or maybe a tears upgrade is Judas the Shadow. So this is one of the very, very unlikely situations that sometimes arises in Isaac where truly terrible play is still somehow being rewarded here. Range upgrade. Not really what I was looking for. Um... Well, we've already been to our item. We should explore. We really should explore. People are probably going to be like, why aren't you uh, breaking those mushrooms? Well, they could explode and do damage to me. Do you want to check our curse room? It would take a little bit of our HP, and that scares the shit out of me at this point in the game, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about it. I'm actually really, really happy that we ended up randoming Lazarus for this run. Mind you, if I had taken Isaac and we'd had the same seed... I would have uh, re-rolled the poop and maybe gotten something a lot better than that. That would have precluded us from getting involved in this terrible situation in the first place. But who knows? We really... Uh, this this could be good. Good tarot card maybe here? No, nope, Bob's Rotten Head. 
Bob's Rotten Head is terrible. Alright, lucky us. It's still bad. That doesn't change anything. Uh, but... I think it is worse than Notched Axe, and it's a question that you never want to have to ask yourself, you know, which of the three spacebar items do you want to take? Notched Axe, the Poop, or Bob's Rotten Head? But it's the situation we find ourselves in, so we gotta learn to live with it. I guess this is an okay place to use Notched Axe. We'll get the Matchstick, which is something that would be good if we had Mom's Purse, but we have to stick with Monkey's Paw just to keep us alive here. And this is, yeah, I was gonna say, it's gotta be the end of the floor here. Um... I know, I know, who dares wins, right? We should really go to our curse room. I'll do it. Fine. You've convinced me. Hopefully we just end up on the caves on the next floor. This has been a really tight one thus far. More spiders. Definitely not worth the black card, but it's not, uh, you know, so terrible. Have we already been down here? Yes, okay. Alright, um, thank God for Judas' shadow. We're still alive. This has been a run that I'm not very proud of thus far, but we have... It, the game has given us feast and famine. Well, obviously we're not going to get the caves on this floor. <laughs> uh, because we're one floor deeper than that. Which is something I should take the time to check. But anyway. Um, yeah, the game has given us incredibly bad luck when it comes to... Like, our item payouts. Except... The items that have literally saved our life. Hey, there's a tinted rock here. There you go. Test yourself at home in case you can't see it. It's right here. Oh, small rock. Okay, so, I mean, why did I stop using notched axe there? That was dumb. But, uh, oh, just a random spirit heart. But uh, I'm happy to have small rock, even if it's not necessarily the, the most pressing concern. Like, my damage is already acceptable, but uh, I can learn to love it anyway. Just one, oh, no, two of you. Hopefully no more. Fantastic. I think Juicy Sack, I've, I've determined, I'm ready to give my verdict. Uh, Juicy Sack gives you, like, two spiders per room that you finish or something like that. So it's, again, kind of one of those situations where, if possible, I would like to kill all the enemies on a room without using my spiders and build up a huge army that I can use for the boss. That is nasty. But... The game has given us many opportunities to stay alive, so I can't be too ornery about this. Should we be using this to crack skulls? Probably. You never know what kind of tarot cards we can get out of those. Occasionally you just get nothing, but that's okay. Once every three rooms we got a shot at it at least. I hate that those guys are invincible for a second, but most of all I hate the way I don't hate them. Not even a little, not even at all. Uh, is that really going to be my, my go-to reference now? 10 things I hate about you? Probably not, now that I think about it. Alright, so this is a big deal with the devil floor. Man, this late you don't want to be begging for 9 lives, but I will beg for 9 lives. Now the gate is a pretty easy kill for us. Should have taken damage there, but I didn't. HP. Uh... So here's how I see this one going now. I, I don't really see us getting enough HP to compete unless we get Dark Bum or maybe Guppy's Paw if we get a lot of HP upgrades from other sources. Uh, sure, why not? The only other way uh, we win this is actually if we pick up yet another item that basically saves us from ourselves. And uh, that item could be something like Abaddon. We'll see though. Our item room is the D20, which I think I, at this point I have to say it's better than Notched Axe. And in the shop we get uh, a Steam Sale and the Jar. I'll buy the Spirit Heart. I should have... Eh, it's not really that much of a savings. Uh, you know what? It makes sense to buy the Steam Sale here, because then if we buy something in the shop on the next floor, it's automatically... Like, we have the price. Whereas before, we only had 14 cents. So it's... I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but I think it may matter. And uh, let's let's go down to the next floor, and we'll be looking for something like a blood bank to, to make this D20 work as effectively as possible. It's possible that that could uh, that could swing this around pretty nicely for us here. I want to take uh, I want to take all that money and definitely the key. I'm not going to use the D20 willy nilly. Like this is one of the few items where I actually feel like my you know destructive too good to use tendencies actually make sense. 
I think it's much more realistic and, and efficient, actually, to use D20 for, like, one big score instead of just, you know, re-rolling this right here. Now, I might be mistaken in that, uh, in that belief. I, I will admit that I don't use the D20 that often. But the worst thing, for sure, would be if we ended up missing out on a big score because we wanted to re-roll absolutely everything. Okay, Guppy's head. It's a Guppy item. Guppy is an out for us. I like Guppy's head more than the D20. I'll admit that, and that's going to make people think I'm an idiot, maybe. But um, I like it more than the D20 because I can. I know I can use it effectively. It's got a guaranteed kind of usage. Uh, whereas with the D20, you know, there are people who are very shrewd about its, its practical applications. And then there's me, who's not really. Two magician cards, all right. That was a poor play there. We are doing a ton of damage. Like, I don't think we're going to have any problem against Mom. But it's it's not Mom that really worries me. It's it's the game after that point. I should go back and look for Tinted Rocks. Like, this is one of the runs where maybe picking up a Tinted Rock on the first floor or second floor might have saved me a lot of heartache. I don't see any in here. Might be mistaken, though. I like Attack Fly. We can't reroll it anyway, so we might as well like it. And thankfully, no judgment. Or sorry, no uh, greed. So yeah, you know, I'll buy the I'll buy the battery. I'm not gonna buy remote detonator, even though the bombs could actually be nice. Just because I want to, you know, bank as much money as possible on our donation machine. There you go. Uh, now I'll buy it, just to be nice. And we can get that battery and get yet another D20 reroll if we want to. As of yet, I don't really see the big score here, you know? I, I see a couple of red hearts here and there. I'm, oh, there's our arcade. That's what I'm hoping for, right there. So let's uh, go in there. And admittedly... Pardon me. Uh, admittedly, we're not going to be able to gamble all that much because we only have one red heart. Oh my god, stop teleporting me around the freaking map game. I'm going to need you to stop doing that. We can blow up these pots, maybe get more money to reroll. Or more spiders to reroll, that's another way to think about that. Okay, excuse me. Uh, I'm so fucking confused about where we are, but we should go back and get this heart so at least we can play our blood bank one more time. This is going to be a weird floor. Like, expect this one to maybe take a little while. No money. All right, that's that's fine. I'm not even uh, ornery about it. I promise. Oh my God, let me out. <laughs> we should probably uh, blow up our other slot machines just to completely maximize what we can get from our D20. But this would be one of those situations where it would be pretty helpful to just have like a little bit more HP, so we could actually gamble more effectively. But whatever, we'll be able to live with it. And if we can get at least something out of our D20 here, that's the only thing that matters. Like, if we can get one semi-permanent upgrade, I would be so into it. We actually... Maybe things aren't as dire as I originally thought they were. Like, we have a chance here. A genuine, honest-to-God chance to, to make something happen. Okay. What... Do we blow these up, or do we... I think we gamble on them first. And we get our half-heart, and then we pump this back into the machine. Okay, and then we blow you up. I'm not going to blow up the donation machine, though. And then I'll reroll all this. We got a golden key, which is meaningless. But we can gamble a little bit more. Thanks to our uh, blood bank being here. I picked up that bomb by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Then we can go. B we can pick up three cents, go back and buy the battery, and then reroll it all again. Or is there one room I haven't been to? No, I don't think there is. This is the dumbest shit of all time. What am I doing with my life? I'm going to go back and buy a battery so I can reroll like four things on the ground. Is this really what this run has come to? I'm, I'm more fucked than I uh, should like to believe if that's the case. There we go. I, bought, I paid three cents to get one extra room of charge on my D20. And uh, we'll, we'll come back and we'll reroll these. And we got a spirit heart out of it, which I'll admit is not so bad. 
one of our pennies back, and there you go. You know what? I probably should have blown up like this before I was going to finish, but I, I still held out hope that it would give me the HP that I wanted. Like a, a blood bag. Okay, we did get a spirit heart there. Probably shouldn't have trapped myself in here. Yeah, that was a poor decision on my part, but hey, let's do it. We're in a very strange situation, but that's maybe okay. You know, just because our proposed big score didn't work out for us here with the D20, that doesn't mean uh, our run is over. It does put us a little bit on the back foot. But uh, I've been on the back foot all, all freaking game here. Very happy to be fighting Red Mom. I, I don't even know, but I, I feel like Red Mom has somehow gotten even easier in Rebirth. Which I love, because it's a nice break from like not being able to see the gamma of Mom's foot. That was really easy, and we did get a boss rush room, so we'll pick this up. We'll pick this up. Guppy items, we'll place a premium on those for sure. Okay, it's Krampus. No matter what we get, I'll be stoked. It's Lump of Coal. That is in vanilla. That's an automatic uh, plus two damage increase with Brimstone. In this, it may or may not do that, but we get to keep our D20. So let's head down to the next floor. I'm going to caffeinate a little bit. What an interesting situation we find ourselves in. It's a real brain twister. It's a word I just uh, coined myself, of course. All right, don't 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 love that. Just be honest with you on that one. I don't mind fighting uh, blue fistula, though. I'll have a blue fistula without you. Sounds like the worst restaurant meal of all time. Yeah, all the, give me a pint of Foster's, a bloomin' onion, and a blue fistula, please. Should have used Awesome Blossom, because by saying blue... Uh, or by saying bloomin' onion, I kind of shot my wad uh, on what was supposed to be a dry run uh, with respect to that phoneme. Anyway, that was two of hearts. Okay, we should actually take two of hearts, even though it's worthless for us right now. Uh, it could be beneficial in the future, and above all else, the magician is not that important when you have brimstone. Uh, butt penny. It's a really bad item. Purity rune. I think it... it Doubles the spirit hearts? I can't believe I get this wrong every time. It doubles the spirit hearts or it gives you like one spirit heart. I don't know. I did not mean to give you that. I apologize. I thought you would only take half a heart again. That's me being an idiot. Amnesia is probably something I'm going to stay away from for now. Don't be, uh, don't be ornery about that though. We're out of money. Okay. But this is good, because we can go back here, and I think we can get to a half-hard interval, which will be much uh, better for us when it comes to playing that Demon Judgment. I like how we got Butt Penny and Da Gas, like, on the same little uh, assortment of area here. There we go. Oh, we got some invincibility. Gamble it away quickly. You gave me fucking Speedball? That's it? That's not a very good game. I have a sneaking suspicion that you might have known that going in. Easy room. Uh, I'm actually stoked to get as much money as possible. Gamble that away on the judgment. Maybe pick up another HP. Wouldn't be that surprising, all things considered. Again, our D20's ready, but I prefer to use it for one, one big score. One big score. Like this penny? No, thank you. We should be looking for secret rooms, I guess, if we're looking for one big score, but... They're hard to find without a uh, blue map. We can always... Uh, that's the other thing, is we don't have to worry about too good to use center too much, because we can bank a couple of charges on our D20. Hmm. And our damage is pretty good. I don't know, I'm starting to think that maybe we could have a win here. We are going to need to maybe get carried a little bit on the chest. Uh, oh, hematomesis is actually pretty great for us. No, it's not, because, I mean, actually it is, because it'll get us to full health, but it's, I forgot that we didn't have that demon judgment anymore. I was like, we can play the shit out of demon judgment. Oh, wait, we don't need to at all. But it, it does give us more HP in case there is a blood bank in our future, which I would love. Not only for money to play that judgment, but also for very many reroll pedestals to use our uh, D20 on here. You might be saying that's your ideal D20 room right there. I would uh, happily have to disagree with that. I'm still holding on to the, the hope that we uh, get an arcade. And if we don't get an arcade, 
Ah, uh, well then I'll feel like an idiot, but I won't feel like we're missing out that much, I guess. We are gonna go back and play that Demon Judgment. My hope is that maybe he'll drop a bunch of shit that I don't care about. Let's fight our boss first, just to see where we stand. Dub Loki is like our ideal boss fight right here. Easy fight, easy life. Pretty good item. Shot speed down doesn't matter, tears up matters a lot. Was really hoping for a deal with the devil there, didn't get one, hey, you know. Life's a bitch and then you die, that's why we get high, because you never know when you're gonna go. So that's what I've always said about that particular subject, in particular. All right, uh, let's uh, let's go move it along here, and we'll yeah, that's two of hearts. I almost botched that. If I hadn't killed that uh, Isla Zeus guy there, we would have been found ourselves in a pretty rough spot. I'm actually amazed by the amount of damage we're doing. This is a pretty good setup for us, and we, we cleared out this entire floor. Yeah, I didn't even notice, which is an even better sign. What do you got for me? Tarot card, strength. I don't think it's that good, man. Please. Nothing? Okay, I use my Degas rune. Uh, secret room. If I had to guess, would probably be right here because it's not impeded by any walls around it. Okay, you know what? Shoot the crap out of you. Put some of this stuff down on the ground. Don't pick up the pennies. Don't pick up the pennies. These don't belong to me yet. So here's what I'm gonna do. Never let anybody tell you I don't have a, a, a commitment to the game. I'm gonna go take one penny at a time back to this gentleman up here and uh, try to get him to pay out. Then I'm gonna reroll the shit out of the other ones. Why don't take? Why don't I take multiple pennies? Why don't you mind your own fucking business? No, that was rude. I apologize. Um, I'm actually rethinking it now that maybe I just reroll it and try to get like a nickel or something, which is what we got, and then that makes that way more effective. What's our card here? Judgment. Oh, snap. Let's throw this judgment down. A little, little judgy here. We got five cents already. I say we reroll. We want to reroll the strength card? Yeah, we can We can afford to pop down that strength card and reroll it. In fact, you know what we can do? Let's be a, a real genius here. Let's come in here and grab our magician card, and then we'll bring this back here and pop it down as well. That's like the first time I've ever used a tactical drop, as I like to call it. All right, we'll stick with Monkey's Paw, though. That could be good for us. All right, reroll everything. Live Bomb. Don't love that so much. We got a Death Card. We got five cents for you, my friend. I love you. Thank you. Don't spend it all in one place. Or do. See if I care. Uh, now we got a, a few more cents to spend on this Judgment back here. Hopefully he's a little bit more like the companion that we just resurrected from, you know, thin fucking air. And he's going to be good for us as well. That's my dream, at least. Okay, that's a bomb. I don't mind it. That's more HP. Smart man. I have to feel like this Two of Hearts card is probably a little bit more valuable now than our... Uh, than our um, uh, death card. I'm pretty, pretty much pleased with how this floor went down. Um... I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I don't always use D20 super effectively, but I think it helped us out a lot here. So, Utero 2. Let's do this. Our damage is good. Our HP is more solid than it has a right to be, consider considering I've already died twice on this floor. Or on this uh, run. Not on this floor. That would be probably worse. And hey, this is definitely this is a new record in Rebirth. In Isaac in general, this is the most times I've ever died on a run and did not use nine lives and still have the chance to succeed. Look, it's in a very specific part of the Guinness Book of World Records. It would probably be, um, you know, page like 3,000. But hey, it's, it means something to me. And I'm, I'm feeling very confident that we're going to be able to make it... Uh, Ooh, that was a little scary. Uh, a little confident, or very confident that I'll be able to make it through to uh, the chest. And then all we gotta do is get a little carried on the chest. And it really doesn't have to be a lot. That's why I said a little instead of a lot. Usually I mean what I say. That's actually patently false, by the way. Oftentimes I say things that I don't mean whatsoever. I don't like, I don't like walking over spikes in this game. Or like walking between them in this game. I haven't gotten it 
set up right in my brain hole yet, and it doesn't. You know, I oftentimes find myself in a difficult position. All right, shit, shit, dudes, let's do this. I'm ready, and erudite. No more of you shitty shit dudes around. Okay. You're probably offended by my incredibly incisive choice of words. Uh, fool card, it's no good for us right now. I hate this room. Please tell me it's over. Oh my god! I am I am perturbed by that turn of events. That is what I am. Six of them? Six wall masters. I don't believe it. Hopefully we don't have to go back through that room. I think we have to go back through that room. Man, that is uh That is not okay. I'm trying to trick him by like doing some dipsy doodle dodges here, you know? But wait, there's more. No, that was that was tough. I don't like that very much at all. But that's that's just it, man. That challenge, you know, it sharpens you. Makes you better in the future. Now we do have a D20 ready. How am I gonna use it? That's a very good question. Uh, because I really don't love our chances of finding like an arcade or anything like that. That bomb did not hit. I'm not going to worry too much about getting close enough to get this attack fly doing business. Alright, that was bad. This is the hardest part of this fight for me. Dodging between those shots. But hey, we did very... Oh, well, we did do very well. Even though we fucked it up at the last second. I still think we've got a great chance against Isaac. And then the chest is the chest. So let's do it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we go. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people always tell me, people always tell me. Order the root beer, order the root beer, it's relatively good, it's relatively good. It's A and W, it's A, I don't know, I, I can't stop, I'm sorry. I've got a good future for me in advertising fast food corporations if, um this ever falls through, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't fall through, but hopefully all you know, the corporations will understand. Alright, so that's like our ideal reroll there, obviously. We got another two of hearts card, which is meaningless. Uh, I say we reroll all the shit we don't need. And we don't need any of this shit. Okay, curved horn is really good. Devil is pretty good, um, but we're probably gonna want two of hearts instead. Petrified poop. Okay, so here's what we do. We take, um... I did choose to go with curved horn. The damage upgrade, I think, is a little bit more universally useful than, than Monkey's Paw. I'll admit Monkey's Paw could uh, could end up winning us the run, you know? I don't love the idea of gambling on that blood bank to get another D20-worthy room, because we already have a D20-worthy room. And well, basically, you know, it's going to reroll into a lot of bombs and a lot of hearts and a lot of keys, none of which we really need, probably. Uh, Infamy, is it's worth taking. I, I'm not hugely into this item, but it's okay. Uh... But yeah, like, we'll we'll just, you know, maybe get one good item or one good consumable out of every, uh, every, uh, d20 roll there, and then, whatever we pick from that, that's just extra, man. It's all good. I don't care if, like, that room ever gets cleared out. This is fine. I mean, I'm actually gonna take this key as well. You might be saying, well, take the keys, you're getting low, but admittedly, we're gonna be taking keys from every room that is not that big room that I've designated as d20 central, so... Uh, I'm not overly concerned about it. And people are going to be saying, well, before I picked up the Eternal Heart at least, they would have been saying, gamble on the Blood Bank, and then use Two of Hearts, because you got another Two of Hearts pill back in that uh, sec second secret room. But actually, I do not, because I re-rolled it into the Devil card, if you may or may not recall, do you? I would love to see another Eternal Heart show up on this re-roll, just so we didn't have to worry about losing this one. Yeah, let's do it. Goodbye. Uh, there's a pill. Okay, good to know, at least. And every time we pop open one of these, except for that time, because it only had a live bomb. Apart from that, every time we pop open one of those, um, we'll get even more stuff to drop and reroll in the future. So this is still our Two of Hearts card. 
Oh, there's a bomb here. We might as well pick it up. All right. Uh, I mean, our HP has stayed constant on this floor. I'm not disappointed by that. Honestly, I'm just glad these guys are dead. I was having some trouble figuring out how to handle that room. Nice, nice. Good attacking, good timing on that one. We don't need to keep this Eternal Heart alive to win, but it's like a morale thing. Like, if we can keep it alive, I think I'd feel a lot better. Oh, there's a, there's a Tinted Rock back there. That's a huge spot for me, because I very, very rarely uh, can see these Tinted Rocks. Or I, I mean, I can see them if you point them out, but I, I find it hard to spot them, so to just kind of see one randomly there helps me out a great deal. Again, confidence. All right. We got one last reroll. That's good. I'm excited. This is a this is a very unusual run, but it is a run where the potentiality for success exists. We're not going to our curse room. No way. Now we'll take everything. Uh well, everything that we can take. Hematemesis, no thank you. Speed down doesn't matter. Well, we didn't gain too much out of this, all things considered. But I'll be happy with it regardless. Alright, so our main goal, don't get hit three times. Well, don't get hit at all would be good, but realistically, don't get hit three times. That, ooh, uh, that would help us out. Apart from that, let's do it. I'm ready. Isaac is, um, I wouldn't say an easy boss fight. But he's, you know, like Mom, or like Mom's heart, I should say, he's very pattern-focused. A little bit less random, I think, than, um, like, I actually find Isaac, a lot of the time, easier than Mom's heart. But it depends if you're, if you're doing enough damage to skip some of the waves on Mom's heart. It can be, uh... It could be a little better, but this is going very well so far. Our Eternal Heart, I think, is going to live. Yeah, it, it's going to be fine. We got hit once. All right, down to the chest. This has gone a little bit better than I expected. Which I think is fair, given uh, the kind of position we were starting in. Okay, uh, what what is that? D4. Reroll into something else. Does this reroll my whole fudgin' run? At least we got a new item. Uh, okay, so we'll take Fear Shot. We'll take Lard. Which is no longer a downgrade. Are we really going to reroll this run? I don't know if that's what it does. Let's do it, though. Okay, we got fucking Bob's Brain. Big fan. I There's no way that I can see. My Reflection. Miter. I'm trying to see the stuff that we didn't have. Technology. Let's fire some shots. I think we might have just fucked ourselves, but that's kind of funny. But we can use it if we don't like what we got going on right now. I guess we can use it in six more rooms. They, this is actually a really interesting item. I didn't know that I've actually unlocked this. I've, people have been asking me, "Do you have the D? Uh, do you have the D4 unlocked?" And I was like, "I don't know. I, I never saw something that said is the you know the D4 is now in the basement." I think, but. I guess the answer to that question is yes, I do have the D4 unlocked. Now, if we were trying just to win, because I called what that item is. If, if we're trying just to win, I would not have done this, because I really loved our damage, and I was digging our HP as well, to be honest with you. But, um, I'm mostly, you know, I, I play Isaac not to say like, oh, here's my fucking, when I die, they'll be like, he won 80% of his rebirth runs or something like that. I, uh... I play to have fun. I know everybody plays to have fun. My definition of fun, as when it comes to Rebirth, is messing around, you know, absurdity. Not to say that people who min-max aren't having fun as well, of course. Um, so there, there's no way I could live with myself if I had the D4 but did not use it every time I had the available opportunity. On this run, at least. And maybe every run where it shows up, but we'll see. And, you know, honestly, our damage isn't that bad. It just looked really bad against those monsters we were fighting. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, we'll, we'll pick that up. Might as well. Two of Hearts card is pretty good, but we should still probably, you know, follow the, the company line here and... Oh, my God. Pick up, uh, you know, whatever sloth drops for us. We did get a speed downgrade pill, which is actually proving a little bit more dangerous than I expected. 
Oh, we fucked it up. We also got Pyro there. I didn't notice that until just now. Okay, Magic Mush. That sticks with us, I think. Um, and it helps out a, a nice little deal, I, I guess, at least for now. So hopefully when we reroll this again, we don't end up with something that's completely terrible, because that might be the run that we're stuck with. Um, but honestly, this one is, is fairly substantially worse than what we were dealing with to start with as well. Although we do have a Celtic Cross. It hasn't really worked for us yet, but we have it. At least I think we do. Child's Heart. I prefer Curved Torn. One more room and we get to use D4 again. You know what would be really fun? There's no room over there. Uh, D4 plus Nun's Habit. Oh, we had, we have $3 bill, I guess? Because we have tri quadruple shot on this room? That might only be triple shot. It's kind of hard to parse it as quickly as we're going here. Let's do it! Rerolled it again. Now we have money equals power. Bum friend. Uh, soy milk triple shot number one. Shielded tier. Spider baby. This is fucking crazy. That's not... I don't have triple shot, by the way. I have uh, soy milk. It just looked like I had... Sorry, I had 2020. It looked like I had triple shot. We might not even have 2020. This might just be another $3 bill effect. This is a very strange run. What the heck? Oh, does RoboBaby 0.5 shoot whenever it gets in range of an enemy? Is that how it works? Like it automatically targets it? Well, at least we're seeing some good value of uh, soy milk here. We have Daddy Long Legs as well. That's a big help. Well, I think it's, you know, conceivable that we win this run. I don't know, though. <laughs> I really just don't know what what is really happening. All right, here's the room where we fight all the mini-bosses at once. This should be lovely. All the Sin mini-bosses, I should say, at once. Not all the all the mini-bosses. Although, maybe we don't fight uh, Envy? Not fighting Envy would make me feel a lot better. Well, there's a tarot card over there. Two of Hearts is something I'm still uh, very much enjoying being a part of our run. With 99 bombs, I should remember to use those a little bit more religiously. Got some HP back. See what our tarot card is. Oh, it's so much better. Are we really going to reroll this run on the Isaac fight? I'm having such a good time with this like Soy Milk 2020 number one business here. And it's actually like the first... Soy milk run outside of that Ipecac triple shot run where I've actually I find myself doing a decent amount of damage as well Oh, okay adversary got to keep moving constantly and we'll still probably take some damage in the process, but that's okay You got to do what you got to do Ooh, Careful we even have like a decent range here despite having number one. I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm, I'm happy for it regardless Almost dead, and the, we're gonna have a reroll. I'm gonna use it because again, that's my commitment here What do we got now? Okay piercing shots Several lasers like tech one and tech two uh, Oh cursed eye plus triple shot plus Samson's chain plus the technologies. This is fucking wild And looks like we have some effects on our tears as well. Oh, we got fire mind Okay, this is cool. Oh my god, we got magnetic tears too? Stay away from me! I don't want to deal with your shit. This is the coolest, man. I love this item. I'm so happy. Also, we're doing a crazy amount of damage. Oh, apparently we have Taurus too. Alright, this is actually very powerful. Alright, let's do this. Blue Baby, you don't stand a chance in hell, man. Unless I teleport away because I get hit while I'm charging. Which is also while I'm firing my technologies. Oh, here we go. Looks like we have concussive tears, or I don't know what the hell's going on there. What a. Do we have lump of coal as well? I mean, we had lump of coal earlier. What the. Oh my god! Look at the way Blue Baby gets carried by these freaking uh, magnetic shots. This is so funny. It can't get close to us if we fired recently, because it just gets teleported all the way away. This is. This is a very interesting run. Well, we won. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's check out our item assortment here.
319, I think we picked up like another four or something there. What a weird run, but I love it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.